Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, on guys? It's oh. Easter weekend. Oh. Spring has sprung, and we're here at my house in Grayson, Georgia. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the springtime striper strategies that I've been using and will continue to use throughout spring. Um, and have had some success. I actually went out this weekend. I'm going to show you guys the footage of that, but before I do it, I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm using and where to find these fish. Okay, so we've had a lot of different changing temperatures and stuff, but it looks like uh, most of that tough weather is hopefully going to be gone and the water will continue to warm. So I've been targeting and will continue to target uh, sand saddles or reef poles um, in between islands and land. So focus on the islands in between land and uh, fish in the mornings and the evening time using, uh, I use bucktail lures, half ounce, um, three quarter ounce, you can get bigger as the spring goes on. Also using jerk baits and even the long A bomber throwing up really in shallow water. Now, if it's a sunny day, I'll typically fish early in the morning or later in the evening and at nighttime and also hit the uh, green lights and dock lights and stuff like that. Um, but if it's cloudy, then I can fish, you know, typically during the day and I'll use like a pearl white color. But come over here and let me show you guys what I've been using. Uh, and again, I just went out this past weekend for the first time in a long time since my last video. Um, but check this out what I'm using here since I use artificials. I always keep a spoon tied on um, Something that I can fish vertically uh, So this right here is a little uh, flex it in the 0.6 ounce there with about a uh, I think I even have an eight pound fluorocarbon leader Next here. I have a homemade bucktail This is a half ounce and what I like to call kind of like my green apple color So it's just some uh, green chart, you know with uh, white and then a little pink uh, nose there Then that's on an eight pound uh, fluorocarbon leader with about 12 pound braid Next we have a Rick Clune uh, jerk bait, which is just like a mix stick basically, but I like this uh, You know spro blue color here this is on i think a 12 pound fluorocarbon 12 pound braid uh both uh, light spinning tackle right there which makes it a lot of fun i've got the sabil magic swimmer 125 slow sinking style and the green ghost back here i got about uh, 10 or sorry 12 pound fluorocarbon leader um, maybe even would go up to 15. This is a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit bigger outfit, but this will work great, especially as we get into uh, uh, spring. Also here, I got my favorite go-to uh, pink bubblegum bomber here. This is the Long A saltwater bomber with three hooks here. Uh, this, you need to have a little heavier tackle. It's heavier, and you're fishing up against the rocks, you know, so you're throwing this really shallow where it's literally bumping against the rocks, and you'll catch fish. That will start just as the sun goes down. Um, so that right there is basically what I'm using. Again, I'll probably uh, throw in some topwater action, you know, using that pencil popper and stuff. So, uh, you know, as, this, as the spring comes on, the top water will hopefully pick up. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy this video. And I plan to have a lot more videos coming out at least once a week. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Have a good week and happy Easter. Thanks. Hey, guys. I wanted to go ahead and just show you a quick example of where I've been fishing and where I caught these fish um, on the lake. So you have an idea, actually an example uh, of where you can find the striped bass this time of the year in the spring and fall. So here's a map of Lake Lanier. You can pick this up at any bait and tackle store. You can order it online. But obviously it's going to be on your, um, your, you know, your fish finder, your unit if you've got a GPS there. Uh, but basically, let's go in and look at Three Sisters Island right here. Okay, this is a good example of where you know, you would want to go up and throw, you know, uh, a jerk bait, you know, a mix stick right up in there, um, you know, a bomber. And then, you know, as before it gets too dark, you know, obviously you can be throwing in your bucktails and stuff like that, um, you know, up against that and uh, into that shallow water. So it just gives you an idea of in between, you know, that's what we call the sand saddles technically, which they're kind of gone right now with the water being so high. Um, so that's just an example. You have more stuff over here. You know, you really, as you see, like these creek fingers and stuff coming into it, uh, you know, those should generally be productive. But I'll be honest, you have to search. 
you know, and typically you do enough searching, you're going to find one that's pretty stocked up with fish. You'll have to catch a couple, leave, because then they stop biting, and then come back to it about an hour later or so. Yeah. I hope this helps. Two chains. What's that on that beat? Hope. I'm different.